welcome to another review. This one is a very special one. This is the Resin Works Wolverine vs Ninjas. Uh, Sharif helped me pick this one up, which I'm very happy with. Uh, I know there's not too many around at the moment. And it has in fact sold out. So if you haven't already got a pre-order in, unfortunately you're going to have to hope that someone else is going to be selling this. So uh, I'm going to start off with a bit of an unbo unboxing vi video because I know how much effort was put in with the packaging of this thing and uh, we'll just work our way through and um, I'll go through it piece by piece. So let's get started. As you can see the art box is fantastic, nice and simple, uh, really has a Wolverine look to it. So, we've got some one four scale weapons to go into the actual base. And they're just amazing. Look at the paint detail on those. That's incredible. And all the different weapons. This video is also going to be handy if people want to put this thing back in the box because there's so many little parts to it. That's a head in there. And hands. I'm not sure if you've seen any of the teaser work for this, but the uh, there's a lot of ninjas on the base in one four scale. So I'm really looking forward to getting down to the base. So let's take this layer off. You can see a lot of effort's gone into the packaging. So it just comes off around the body still in, in there. The accessories have just come up. Let's have a look. So all things close. It's a very uh, comic book oriented statue, this one, which I really like. Inspired by artwork by David Finch, which I believe is, paint is printed onto the bottom of the base. You can see there's really heavy duty pegs on this thing. And the magnets. Wow. Fantastic. Okay, to get to the next layer, I'm going to have to remove the Wolverine. So if you bear with me a second, I will jump to the next layer. Okay, Wolverine's been taken out. And let's move on to the next layer. And the reason why this will never fit into a Vesta. Wow. It's huge. Also, to be met with this piece is really heavy. Which is, I know some people get disappointed with some of the sideshow ones being a bit light these days. But, uh, wow, you can just see the details. Some of the hands of the ninjas are there. Each one individually painted. Oh, this is something very special, guys. Very, very special. Okay, what do now? I'll take everything out of the packaging, I'll lay it all on the table so you can have a look and see how many detail things there are. Okay, it's taken me a couple, about 10 minutes, but I've managed to unpack it all and stick it out so you can see all the different pieces in it. I'm going to go for each piece individually now and uh, have a look at the little details because some of the little details are fantastic on this. Okay, let's get them a bit closer. So, each individual hand. It's got an awesome paint job. You can see the, I don't know if it comes out on camera too much, but you can see the little veins painted on the hand. Look at that, it's amazing. Really, really impressed with this. Everything looks very professional. Let's look at the weapons. So we've got size. The paint job on that is just top notch. Arrows. The metal. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I shall put this 
down. And I'll be able to get some better close-ups of this stuff. So let's have a look at this. Let's look at the yellow. That's a little bit too close for this iPhone camera. Hopefully you can make out the detail on that. And you'll get two of those. Let's move on to the swords. Each sword, interestingly, is different. So instead of going with it, an easy route, which is to make one sword and fit it in all the same places, each one is a different sword, which is incredible. So this one that's broken off. We have one full size sword. These have made a resin, the swords, but just look at the paint job on them. Incredible. we got a holster for the sword, if that's what it's called. Apologies if I'm wrong. And the detail on that, you can see there's a little knot that's been tied in the end of that. And then we got this sword. It looks the same as the other sword. And so you see that. It's broken from the fight with Wolverine. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to Wolverine's heads. So you get this fully masked head, which is really nicely painted. As you can see, it's got really nice moulding on it. There's no roughness to it at all. Really happy with that. And the uh, legendary ri rivets. Anyone that's followed on Facebook, I know there was like a big controversy. And the other head, which is battle damaged Wolverine, which is my favourite by far because it's different. And that's what makes it special. And he's angry. Just gone head to toe with the ninjas. So look, here we go. Focused. Okay, I'll just show you the head just in case it wasn't in focus. That's just a phenomenal piece. Just phenomenal. And let's move on to what makes Wolverine Wolverine. It's close. This, these are really heavy. It's, it's unbelievable. That is all metal from his hand all the way up. Close. They're looking fantastic. They definitely got more of a comic book feel to them. The way they come out, position on the hands. Wow. Move on to the base. There's a couple of hands already on the base, and a couple that need to just be put in. And there's the body again. Let's have a close up look at that when it's all been put together. Okay, I'm going to stick it together and I'll be back now. And here he is, all made up, all looking complete. I've uh, got a couple of weapons I still need to stick on. So I got as far as I could in the time I've got. And he's going to be going in the display case, which I haven't got yet. I need to get that sorted out. Um, so I think it really captures the effect anyway, the amount I've done. So let's have a look. So let me just go on the base. As you can see, details on the feet, got the swords in plate, yeah. yep, arrows, metal, um, I was giving some advice to Shuri, and I pass her on, look at the photos on the website, it makes it a lot easier to get this thing together, um, especially with some of the side hands. 
a bit of a nightmare otherwise working out which way the weapons go and uh, yeah so let's get a bit closer Wolverine is very angry the textures the clothes look ripped it's been a bad fight and it's the boots However, the ninjas have come off a lot worse. But I think that's amazing. This ninja here is one four scale, so it's pretty huge. It's like a whole army of dead ninjas. The hands of Wolverine. It's very cool. Like, in the, there's no blood on it in the comics mind. The uh, hand, if you just go into a puff of smoke. <clears throat> so the fact there's no blood here is not really a, an issue for me. So let's have a look. Magnet's really strong on the head. Let's put the other head on. Here we go. So that's my unboxing video for Wolverine vs Ninjas. As I said, big shout out to Resinworks and Sharif making this happen. Uh, I'll make a, another shout out now to some of my friends. So Andy and Steve, I have a shout out. Uh, it wasn't requested at all. And everyone else I speak to on you. Josh for making a really good video to start with, help me put this together, and uh, Ava one has got a fantastic video as well, it was definitely worth checking out. So if you're waiting for this piece, there's free videos on the internet now that you can watch and uh, build the anticipation. So uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, if you want to see more videos of Wolverine and other Marvel related statues, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll be adding the next one I'm going to be filming is going to be the Wolverine legendary scale figure with a custom head. So that's going to be the next one to look out for. It should be done at the end of the week. So uh, thank you for watching. Anthony out.